Hello, my creepies, and welcome back to the mortuary. I have my highly anticipated reaction for you. I know many of you have been asking me, where is this video? I know I keep being asked, have you seen this trailer yet? Uh, and I have not. So I'm going to tell you what movie it is. It is the official trailer to Halloween Ends. Yeah, we're going to go and check that out today. Uh, but before we do that, if you're just stumbling in here, I am Reanimate Her, the queen of Scream. And if you enjoy everything horror, and I mean everything from makeup, cosplay, games, movies, chit chats, discussions, autopsies, then you are in that right area of the internet that you want to be in. Make sure to give us a subscribe here. And if you enjoy this video, give us a like. Definitely give us a like. Uh, I just want to say a huge shout out to each and every one of you who support me. I greatly appreciate it. Um, before we get into this uh, trailer, uh, let me just make it clear. I don't hate the new Halloween uh, franchise. Uh, I don't love it. But we'll go into some things as well. Now, uh, a quick little thing. Thank you for your patronage and your YouTube memberships here on both Patreon and YouTube. I greatly appreciate it. And if you're a Patreon or a YouTube member, make sure you check out the community tab because there's tons of information and posts that I do up there that I hope you guys get to see. On that note, if you have a few extra dollars and you want to help continue this content, grow and become better, maybe throw some my way by hitting the join button here. Or if you want really cool exclusive merch and awesome perks, head over to my Patreon page. All that information is down below in the links. Now let's get into this reaction. Uh, let's check it out. Uh, I don't know how I feel about this. Uh, before we get into it, though, I do only first takes. So if there is an issue in this video, I hope you understand. Uh, I do not like doing retakes because they're not genuine then. So let's get it on. All right. Uh, quickly, just to let you guys know that subtitles are on. All sound is off because copyright, DMCA's, all of that jazz. So I hope you don't mind it. Bear with me. Here we go. I love the opening music to Halloween. That's iconic sound. That iconic sound is like Jason's music, right? You just, ah, uh, you know the boogeyman is coming. Now, is he wanting his window? Is somebody in his friggin' window? Because you're dead if you're in his window. Is this where Lori is hanging out in his window? Hey, he has all his fingers. Killer, killer, mommy, killer. I do love seeing Michael. Oh, he's going to get you, bitch. Oh, yes. Get it in there. Get it in there. Get it. Get it. Get it. This bitch. <gasps> Who the fuck are you? Wait, wait, wait. Okay. So wait. Okay. Hold up here. What hand did she just fucking stab? Ah, oh, I'm kind of confused here now. So, uh, we already know, hold on, let me fix myself. Okay. Now, if I can remember correctly, Michael gets his fingers cut, right? So he doesn't have a full hand. Uh, now I'm not really sure what angle or what hand is down on the counter when she stabs him through it. But when he opened up the door, he had all of his fingers. Maybe that's just me. Maybe I've messed that up somewhere. Um, maybe someone can help correct me down below in the comments. Um, does Michael have all of his fingers and then he doesn't have it? He's missing some of his fingers because we do know he lost a few, right? Okay. Uh, let me just tell you this right now. This trailer was very anticlimactic for me. Uh, and what I mean by that is usually when I watch a trailer of a horror movie or a remake or a reimagining, I usually get this feeling like, oh, my goodness gracious, you know, the nips, uh, goosebumps, all that jazz happens, right? I had none of that. Uh, the only point that I did have that is at the beginning when you hear Michael's sound, 
you know that iconic sound that happens. Uh, how can you not get nipple boners for days when you hear Michael sounds? Now, uh, the only other part that I was super excited for was to see Laurie Strode's hand get demolished in the sink there in the garbage disposal. And to my disappointment, she still has her fucking hand. Uh, now, I did not like Halloween 2018. I, <sighs> okie dokies on Halloween kills. I'm not a huge fan of the new Halloween universe. Yes, you heard me say universe because I don't consider this franchise part of the Halloween timeline. Uh, I call it in the universe of just like Spiral, the book of Saw is in the same universe as Saw itself. So that is what I do. I know. Boo, hiss, boo. I don't really care what you think. If, if it's universe or not, it's my opinion. Listen um, to this bitch. So, yeah. Uh, I dislike 2018. My thoughts on 2018 are not hidden. It's very, very much public. Uh, Halloween Kills, I did give it a 5, 6 out of 10. Uh, only because of the kills, right? The kills were great. They were over the top. They reminded me of my love, Jason Voorhees. You know, we see Michael shed his skin and become Jason, the man that he's always wanted to be. Yeah, we know this, right, Serial? Michael's always wanted to be Jason, so in 2018 and Halloween Kills, he decided to break out of the chains and hide in the shadows. He said, fuck this shit, I'm coming out as a wannabe Jason Voorhees. And he does. In Halloween Kills, over-the-top kills. He's no longer the boogeyman. He's no longer the shape. He's wannabe Jason. Um, And I say that because Michael, for me, was always scary. He was... He was scary not because of the kills that he did. He was scary because how quiet this mofo is. He's a creeper. He's a stalker. He's someone that you think is there but is not there. So you still go and check it out and then you die horribly. That's Michael. That's scary. That is the shape. That is the boogeyman. Michael has lost that appeal in 2018 and in Halloween Kills. He's no longer what lurks in the shadows. He's no longer that scare factor that I once had for Michael. Uh, Jason has always been over the top with his kills. He's always been. He has never been that creepy stalker guy that's just looking and, and watching and then comes out and gets you. There are certain parts in the forest that he's walking through and watching you. Yes, but he has never been a full on stalker like Michael has been. Michael will wait till you finish having sex and you're getting up and getting a beer and then he's going to stab your ass, pick you up and stab your ass in the kitchen on a fucking cupboard and then take your sheet and cover himself up in it and then go and kill your girlfriend. Um, now, if they were to make a new movie with Jason Voorhees and Jason took on the persona of a stalker killer, I would be fucking pissed because Jason is not known for that. Jason is known for his over-the-top kills, Michael is known for being sneaky and calculated and very cold uh, in Halloween 1, Halloween 2, and throughout the franchise of the original timeline of Halloween, yeah, convoluted, but Michael was always a cold, calculated killer. Jason was, you're in my fucking way, you're going to die, right? Um... Not huge on the new franchise of Halloween, but I want to know, what, what do you guys think about it? Are you excited about Halloween uh, uh, ends, and are, did you enjoy Halloween 2018? Did you, did you enjoy Halloween Kills? Let me know down in the comments. I'd like to know your opinion, whether it's the same as mine or it differs. I love having conversations about horror films, especially if our views and opinions don't match on the matter. I can respect your view and opinion, and I hope that you can respect my view and opinion. Um, again, opinions are like assholes. Everybody's got one. Mm, some have two, one coming out of their face and one coming out of their ass. But anyways, um, again, I love to have conversations about these. So if you have any input, let me know down below. Uh, will I go and see this in theater? No, I would not waste that kind of money on this film. If movie theaters are so expensive here where I live. Um, but I will watch it on VOD or a streaming service for sure. You're damn right. I will. It's Michael. Regardless of anything, it's Michael. 
Uh, even though it, he's not the Michael that I know, I, I will still watch it. And I'm thinking I might actually watch Halloween 2018 again and give you guys my honest review and thought process on it. Now, to be honest with you, I've only seen Halloween 2018, I think, two times. Once in the theater with my spawn on opening night. I had my hopes and dreams crushed, stomped on, shit on, and then thrown in a fucking gutter. Um, but I think I might give it a try again. And give you guys some actual input and review. And I also will watch Halloween uh, Kills uh, because I've only seen that, I think, twice. Um, yeah, so I think I might do that for you guys and give you a full on review of what my thoughts and feelings are. Again, I am not a die hard Halloween fan. So, no, it's not because I'm a die hard fan into the classics. That's why I don't like it. I don't like it for numerous reasons. And the biggest one is that they've made Michael into Jason. He's no longer scary. He does not have that spook factor that he once had. And, and that's what really angers me about it. Everything else is eh, right? I could have liked it, um, but that really doesn't do it for me. Michael has always been cold, calculated, stalker guy. He's never in-your-face murderous. Um, one of the other reasons why I... <sighs> Halloween Kills only got around five or six for me out of ten is because it's exactly Halloween 2. Yes, exactly Halloween 2. Uh, we have the mob in Halloween 2 with Ben Tramer. We have it in Halloween Kills with the mentally handicapped guy, which I didn't care for in the first place, him being mentally handicapped and this mob going after him. Like, what the fuck? Uh, second thing is, is that Laurie Strode did nothing in Halloween 2. She was in the hospital the whole time. And then in Halloween Kills, she did nothing and she was in the hospital the whole time. Uh, and it was, it's basically the same movie with better CGI and more fire uh, and more over-the-top kills because we have an explosion, right, in Halloween 2. Uh, we have that here in uh, Halloween Kills. It, it, for me, it was a carbon copy of Halloween 2. We just didn't need um, and yeah, I just don't think we needed it. I mean, don't get me wrong. I do love the violence that I'm seeing on screen from Mikey, the over the top kills. I'm, I'm a gore whore through and through and more blood guts and ass on the screen is like <sighs> cake and ice cream at the same time. Right. I fucking love it. Um, that was my main reason for liking Halloween by Rob Zombie. Uh, I'm not saying that Rob Zombie's film for Halloween was amazing because it wasn't. There are numerous aspects that I did not like from it. However, I did love the violence, the stabbing, like the whole like over and over blood squirting screams happening. Like it was it was fucking orgasmic. Um, but that's not Michael, right? That isn't Michael. Uh, and that was one of the reasons why I didn't like Rob Zombie's Halloween and I did like Rob Zombie's Halloween. Uh, but yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did enjoy this video, please give it a like. And if you're not subscribed, give it a subscribe. Comment down below. I want to know, are you going to see Halloween, Halloween ends in movie theaters or are you going to wait for VOD and streaming services? I will most likely wait for VOD and streaming services. My favorite out of the Halloween franchise of the original is 1978 and number two, because one and two I watch as one whole movie. What do you like out of the Halloween franchise? Which is your favorite? And here's Fusa. Oh my goodness. Oh no. I'm surprised she wasn't here sooner. Out to some of my amazing friends and community members, Sam, AKA Dark Breaker, Thank you for being an amazing human. Thank you for being a friend. I appreciate you. Zach O'Green, thank you for everything. Your support, your friendship, your inspiration. Yes, I said inspiration. I know what goes on in your life. I know, I know bits and pieces about you and where you were, where you are, and who you're going to be and where you're going to be is inspiring. It really is. So keep kicking ass. Keep slaying, dude. Um, I'm in your corner. And a huge shout out to Cataly. Uh, Cataly, the horror cat, has uh, been in my corner for a long time. I've known her since the Mixer days. She's an amazing human being. Uh, she's also a horror lover. 
She is. She loves everything about the genre. And she has an amazing blog. Uh, it's called thehorrorcat.com. Go to that website. Give it some love. She does reviews on indie horror titles and movies. Now, she is my go-to queen for anything indie horror. So if you like indie horror games, make sure you head over to her page. Now, I know she's been on a little bit of a hiatus because work has been insane for her. She also does YouTube videos here on YouTube. She does, and her reactions are priceless. They are great. When she's playing a horror video game, she records her face. Oh, my Lord, it's great. Uh, you definitely have to go and check her out. Links down below to the people that I shouted out today as well. If they make content, you'll you'll be able to find them in uh, on YouTube and on their website. She's so mad I'm holding her tail down. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I got to go before Fusa decides to mute or turn off my shit like she normally does. I love your guts. Be safe out there. If you haven't already liked this video and subscribed, please do so. Comment your view, comment, shares, and likes help me and my content grow and expand. So please go out there, like, comment, share. Um, if you do this for your favorite content creators, they will love you forever and ever. So thank you guys for doing that as well. I will see you all later. Bye bye. Thank you for watching this video and I need to do a huge shout out to my Patreon peeps. Thank you so much for investing in me and my content. Thank you for believing in me. Thank you for giving me your hard earned money. I greatly appreciate you and I could not do this without your contribution to this channel, to this content that I create. So thank you very, very much. Harjar, Candy Thiessen, Deadwalk. Devil Dog, Zombie Guts, Erratic Agent, Fielder's Choice, Haley Dawn, Bearcat Kitten, It's Mr. Scott, Mr. Watson, Mischief Maker, Ms. Delicious, Night Jammy, Petro Bull, Macabre Tavern, Serial Killer, Byron, Celtic Wolf, Dahi, Eve Brutal, Monkey Van Meowerton, OG Chris Redfield, Gamer Sass, The Goblin King Josh, Rye, The Lament Butterfly, and Go Klepto. You guys have no idea how grateful I am for your contribution. Thank you so very much for everything that you guys do. I love your guts. Want more of your Scream Queen? Of course you do. Who doesn't? Please make sure to check out my other horror related content down below. And if you want to become part of the undead, and hang out with me outside in my cemetery. Make sure to become a Patreon member. Check it out right there. Or one of the ghouls here on YouTube by clicking on the join button down below. And if you are craving more of the dark macabre content that I create, make sure to check out my Instagram. Uh huh. And if you want to rock out with your. Oh, <laughs> no, no, no. But if you want to rock out in some awesome horror gear, make sure to check out my merch store right there. Until next time, my creepies. I will slash you later. Sleep it real. Bye-bye.